As you've most likely already heard, OSRS HD got cancelled at the last minute by the Jagex team, with the team citing some early stage graphical revamps that the team was discussing. For developer, RS117 spent thousands of hours for this project, never to see the light of day, even though Jagex was previously on board with his project. This cancellation has larger repercussions than I think Jagex realizes, and maybe some of the player base doesn't realize as well, which I'll be breaking down for you today. There are two main major problems with Jagex pulling the plug last minute on Runelite HD. And the first one is that it breaks a lot of the community trust that the Jagex team has with the community. The RuneScape community as a whole is extremely tight-knit. Generally, in OSRS, the relationship between the Jagex team and the community is positive, with the community being generally willing to help and provide feedback for the game, and the Jagex team being receptive to implementing some of this feedback. When Jagex is going back on a community project they've already given the green light for, this breaks trust between the community and the Jagex team. Runelite HD was a highly anticipated project, and it required a ton of community hours to get completed. One major event won't break complete trust between the developers and the players, but a continued repetition of mistrust will, even for games that have a massive community love. Let's take a look at one of my favorite MMOs as an example, World of Warcraft. Now, World of Warcraft used to be an amazing game where the magic and nuance of the player experience was chipped away ever so slowly by microtransactions and a hunger for profit. Year after year, systems were implemented into the game which players openly disagreed with and provided feedback on, but to no avail. Now, every expansion released by the World of Warcraft's dev team is packed with false promises, and every expansion is upsold and sees the player base dwindle lower and lower as they move to other games which will fulfill their needs. You can even relate this back to RuneScape 2 and the implementation of EOC and the downfall from there. I mean, that's the whole reason OSRS even exists, right? Anyway, abrasive and repeated actions against the majority of the community will cause players to stop playing. Has Jagex really not learned this? I'm pretty shocked. The second main reason this event is so devastating for the game is because of the outreach OSRS HD would have had and the benefit it would bring to the game long term. For many of us older players, the graphics are charming and they're nostalgic, but for a lot of new players looking to get into OSRS, it actually serves as a turnoff and a barrier from playing the game. Think about how amazing it would be if we could provide those players with a graphical setup that they enjoyed using. They would actually play the game and we'd have new players. This is literally the most important thing Jagex needs, and it's something that the Jagex team says they actively struggle with, that being attracting new players and retaining new players. OSRS HD was a direct fix for some of those issues. Also, OSRS HD was a 100% free to Jagex from a development standpoint, right? They didn't have to provide any development resources from what I understand for that. It was a completely fleshed out passion project by a single individual that would have improved outreach for the game. It blows my mind that Jagex would pull the plug on this project for their reasons alone, especially knowing that they were in talks about this project for years beforehand, and they shut it down at the last minute. I am baffled that a game company, or honestly any company, would think of this way and handle themselves like this. It shows a massive separation between the dev development team and the management team over at Jagex, and it's actually pretty embarrassing for them. I'm upset with the Jagex team for originally agreeing to this. I feel for the developer RS117 and the effort that he's had to waste now. Anyway, thanks for listening to my short rant on this topic. Do you think that the Jagex team handled this the correct way? In my opinion, they are totally out of line, but let me know in the comment section below if I'm maybe being a little bit biased. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.